What's going on YouTube? Gsn right here. Today I have important news for those of you waiting for Uncover to be updated for iOS 15. An exploit has been released. Yes, not a bug, not a vulnerability, a full exploit which can be used. This video is brought to you by AnyTrans, a software that allows you to drag and drop files directly from your computer to your device, like photos, music and so on. Check it out in the link below. Also, huge thank you to the people who are supporting this channel on Patreon.com. They are right now on your screen. So Uncover Jailbreak, if you want this to be updated then this video is definitely for you because if you remember I made a video a couple of days ago about a new vulnerability that was released and it was a kernel vulnerability. Now in the comment section of that video everybody was like yeah it's just a vulnerability they never get turned into exploits and stuff like that. Well it turns out today that it has been turned into an exploit by binary boy here. They posted this called desk race and it's available on github exploit and all. So this one is actually a full exploit full kernel exploit which works and can be used for a jailbreak. This one works for iOS 15.0 to 15.1. It says in here, quote, get your kernel memory write primitives on iOS 15.0 to 15.1 using the CVE 2021-30955 by BrideyUp. Yes, if you remember, BrideyUp found that vulnerability that I mentioned in here, this kernel vulnerability I talked about in my previous video that everybody said, well, it's just a vulnerability and stuff like that. And well, somebody else took it and made an exploit from it, which is nice. I have done all the tests on my iPhone 11 running 15.1, iPhone 11 being of course post A12, so this works on newer devices as well. But it should work with all devices with 4 gigabytes of RAM, because I'm not using any hard-coded offsets or anything. So that's actually quite nice. And it's available now in here as I said, and Uncover can definitely use this. Now while this is not a bypass or any fix for the uh, sealed root FS, that still requires some work, there are some ideas, for example messing with bind mounts and stuff like that. Right now those things are not fixed the uh, rootfs being sealed, but the kernel exploit is now out. Now it's important to make the distinction between a kernel exploit and a kernel vulnerability. A vulnerability is not necessarily an exploit and you cannot use it just like that for Uncover. So what BrideyApp released a couple of days ago was just a vulnerability. And of course that couldn't be used without an exploit. But what Binary Boy did was to take that vulnerability and write an exploit for it, which of course this code can be taken and integrated in Uncover basically without any effort, just a couple lines of code and dragging and dropping some files. So that's actually great, because as they say in here, this gets your kernel memory write primitives, which is exactly what you need for a jailbreak in order to apply the patches. If you can write to the kernel memory, you can disable sandbox, you can elevate your privileges and then install Cydia and stuff like that. But Uncovered still needs to figure out that rootfs stuff is the same problem that Checkrain has. Checkrain has to fix that as well. And they are working on that, so definitely wait for that. Now let's address a little bit the situation with compatibility. The vulnerability was patched in 15.2 and in my previous video I said that it might work on 15.2 beta 1 but it wasn't tested at that time. Well it turns out I was right. It was tested now and it does work on 15.2 beta 1 which was signed until like two or three days ago so I made many videos in which I told you to update to that or downgrade to that so if you didn't then I'm afraid that's on you because it stayed signed for like a month or so. So what does this support? It supports 15.2 one, it supports 15.0.2, 15.0.1, 15.0, and that's all right now, which is great, it's still a good range, but 15.2, 15.2.1, 15.3, 15.3.1, and even 15.1.1, by the looks of it, are not supported. I'm not sure if 15.1.1 isn't supported or they just missed it here, because I think for some devices 15.1.1 doesn't exist, he may have just missed it, let's see, for iPhone 11 Pro, yeah, as you can see, for iPhone 11, the device they actually use for testing, the iOS 15.1 1.1 doesn't exist. It's just 15.1 and then 15.2. So we're not sure if 15.1.1 is supported, but I think it is. But yeah, all the way up to 15.1, 15.2 and later are not supported. Still very good because this is a full exploit that can be used for Uncover for sure because it already gets you kernel memory read access. So yeah, that's basically it. Pretty great news for the jailbreak community. The best news we had so far in a couple of months. So definitely great. Thank you for watching. I am GS Now. Peace out.